Hello, my sweet darling Libras. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another reading. Uh, please keep in mind, this is general reading. So always take what makes sense for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Um, if you are watching this for a Libra, then this could be playing out from your perspective, okay? Um, please, please like this video, guys. Thank you so freaking much. Really appreciate it. So, yes, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, let's see what is coming to Libra in love. Libra. What is coming to my Libras in love? What is coming to Libra in love, angels? Libra. Libra. Okay. So Libra, you have shadow work. And then you have, ooh, you have delicacy with a freak. Delicacy and reunion. Interesting. So let's see what this is all about, okay? Bottom of the deck, we also have growth. Libra, what is coming to my Libra? Libra. Libra. Libra may be dealing with a Capricorn. What is coming to Libra in love, please? Libra. What is coming to Libra in love? Libra. Libra. So you have the Eight of Swords reverse. The Ace of Cups. What is coming to Libra in love? Libra. Libra. Hmm. You got Death. King of Wands. What's coming to Libra in love? What is coming to Libra in love? Libra. I, you know, I hate when I... I don't know when a card is kind of coming out. All right, four of wands. So Libra, you may be connected to, like I said, Capricorn. I do see uh, Scorpio here, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the building. <laughs> What's coming to Libra in love? What is coming to Libra in love? Libra, I can't help but feel like there's this energy of someone trying with you. They're trying um, or they will be. Um, I definitely feel like there's love on the table here, but there could be a lot of overthinking. Now, this could be your end, their end, but someone definitely has been overthinking, Libra. Um, but the fact of the matter is that this is what someone is after here, okay? Uh, this is what someone wants. They want the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. These are really the happiest cards you can get for a relationship and love guys okay um so stability security whoever this person is they are serious about building something stable long term and happy with you so not only are they wanting stability but they want emotional uh fulfillment with you and they feel like you can give them that libra <laughs> that's what they feel okay now you have you may have quite a few people dealing with uh not dealing with you but fighting for you wanting you okay wanting the spot in the libra's life <laughs> okay but the king of wands doesn't give up i mean kings have a calculated way of going about things uh they're very passionate right they're determined but they're different from the knights and the pages to where they don't act suddenly that they're, they're not impulsive they've mastered themselves so what they do is that they they will get you one way or another libra um like I said, so <laughs> this person, I feel like this person's not giving up, okay? They, you know, the kings know exactly what to do in order to get their desired results. Knights are still figuring it out, and they're very impulsive. So just know whoever this freak is. <laughs> they want what they want, Libra, and that is you. Now, they want you to stop overthinking. Someone wants the overthinking to stop here, Libra. Now, this could be, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't want to point fingers and say it's you. But I know as air signs, I'm an Aquarius with a Libra moon. I can definitely <laughs> crazy. Listen, if they made awards for overthinking, I would be in the guineas 
world book of world book of world records whatever they call it okay <laughs> so that's what they they and what do they want libra they want you to take the cup okay somebody wants the other to take the cup this is what is wanted here okay um whoever this person is they they do want commitment with you libra this could be a taurus um for some of you i'm hearing uh the overthinking may have been causing a lot of problems between you two, okay? But the fact of the matter is, Libra, someone wants this love with you. They have a lot of love for you, okay? Now, if it's been this person doing this, I do see a transformation, a change coming to them. I see to where someone, you know, maybe their heart was closed off. Someone's heart's been very closed off here. But, you know, they're, they're feel, someone's about to start feeling the love, okay? And expressing the love. And the thing about the King of Wands next to the Magician is that whoever this person is, they feel fully prepared to capture the Libra, to catch them a Libra, to keep them a Libra. Okay, they want to impress you. They want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, show you that they they can be your 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 happily ever after. They can be that. Okay, um, what is the Eight of Swords reverse for Libra in love? And that shadow work could be talking about someone in a situation who needed to basically they needed to heal. You know these these negative thoughts that they tend to have. Okay. Yeah, they needed to heal trust issues, seven of coins. But someone knows that this could be successful. Someone knows that, you know, this is the person of my dreams. This is the person for me. Uh, but there's a lot of trust issues, like I said here. Um, whether this person did something to you or not, okay? Because not for everyone, this person did something to them. What is the death card for Libra in love? Now, if you're in a relationship, Libra, yeah, uh, you know, the overthinking is there, but... It just definitely needs to stop, okay, Libra? It needs to stop because whoever you're with has proven them, themselves as loyal and trustworthy, okay? and Or that's how they will prove themselves to be, Libra. Uh, the King of Wands is a very fiery person by nature, uh, very determined, okay? Uh, once they set their eyes and their hopes on something, they, I mean, they're going to pursue it with a lot of force, guys, okay? What is the King of Wands for the Libra? King of Wands. This person wants you and they want you bad, okay? They want you bad, Libra. <laughs> this freak wants you bad, okay? Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. They want you so bad, Libra. God, look at that, okay? They're just bursting with all types of passion and love for the Libra here. Ten of Wands, okay? It's hard on them, guys. Okay? You're making it hard for me. <laughs> You're making it hard for them, Libra, to stay away or to, you know, tell me about the King of Wands for the Libra here. You know, if this is your partner, your partner is very, very, very interested in you. They're very attracted. They're all about you here, Libra, okay? That's all you really need to know. This person is ready to go. They're on go, okay? They're on go here, Libra. <laughs> what is the magician for Libra in love? And what they're about to do here, Libra, is this freak basically is going to go ahead and show up. Okay, they're going to show up. The world, the Nine of Swords. Someone is probably worried it's over, it's too late. But they're going to come in right before the elevator closes. Okay? Um, that's what someone's rushing in. They're rushing in here. They're, they're going to speak their mind, Libra, before they, you know... Some of you could be too late. Maybe you're already in something else, okay? Uh, but just understand this person's not ready to go down without a fight, Libra. Um, and they're about to really give you a piece of their mind. What is the magician for Libra? Yeah, four of swords reverse. They're coming out of uh, this, this separation, okay? Tell me about the knight of swords for Libra in love. Yeah, see, some of you, you may not want this person, okay, anymore, but the Four of Cups tells me also that they're going to try to offer their cup here, Libra, um, and they're not taking no for an answer. <laughs> they're not, okay, they still have hope that, you know, you will take them, okay? They don't want this separation, they don't want this breakup for some of you, this could be a twin flame connection, guys, okay? Tell me about the Five of Wands for Libra in love, Five of Wands. 
They don't want to miss out on that. I mean, this person's feeling very like, uh, what's the word? You don't want someone's very, very like clingy, but it's not like in a toxic way. I just feel like this is someone who's like really stirred up over you. Um, they're fucked up over you, to be honest. And uh, they just, like I said, they're gonna, they want to get you to take that cup. Okay, Libra. What do we have for Libra in this love situation? We have the page of coins. So, you know, the communication is going to show up here, Libra. They're going to reach out. Okay, email, snail mail, whatever you want to call it. Ace of Wands. And they want to plant these seeds with you, Libra. Uh, <laughs> this is what this person wants. What else for Libra, please, in love? Yeah, the Ten of Swords, Libra. And the Chariot. This could be a Cancer. Okay, ooh, we have Double Cancer, guys. Look at that. Double Cancer. It's interesting because you have the King and the Queen of Cups. Look how beautiful that is. So this person's not taking no for... Look, guys, you have literally three cards of not taking no for an answer. These are literally all very, very determined cards here, guys. Okay? So whoever this freak is, <laughs> just understand that it's not... They're going to try their best song and dance here. I won't say it's a crappy dance because it looks pretty good uh, as to why they're, this person's coming towards you. And if this is a new person, then their intentions look very good. You know, this is someone who definitely loves to be around you. They're comfortable with you. They see you as their life partner and their intentions are good, Libra. So, you know, I don't usually say like that, things like that, guys. So if I'm saying it, then just understand you get a green light, okay? What does this person really want to communicate to their Libra? What does this person want to communicate to Libra, please? Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for the Libra, please. Libra. What else do we have for Libra, please? Okay. Okay, so we have typing and deleting messages, acting cold and detached. So someone's someone's been acting cold and detached, okay? Acting like they don't want this, but that's not the case, okay? Like I said, I do strongly feel like there's a lot of trust issues going on here. But rest assured, you have nothing to worry about, guys, especially if you're in a relationship with this person. They're loyal, they're faithful, they have eyes for you. All right, they have a lot of love for you. So you have, I wanna get back together. We have trust issues, so some free cash. <laughs> There's trust issues in this situation. So we have, I moved on. So I feel like this person probably knows you're gonna move on, Libra, if they don't speak up. Or they could be fearing that you've worked, you've moved on, but they don't care, they're gonna still try it. Always in my dreams, your love is my drug. <laughs> Where'd you guys do this free? So that's double confirmation. This person is gonna be reaching out. They say, I miss you. We have, I wanna give you the word, but I'm struggling with finances. I'm in my feelings deep. I've never felt like this before. Let's get two more. Libra. Oh, this freak wants to go have on a baby, Libra. <laughs> oh, this could be someone older than you. Yeah, some of you single man, single woman, but this person wants to show you true love. That's what they want, okay? All right, so that is what I have for the Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Just understand someone's coming in hot and ready for the Libra, like a little Caesar's pizza, okay? <laughs> Talk to you guys next time.